Okay, when last we met, we were using the pattern maker to pattern options to make patterns. And we made this pattern here, located in the swatches, and this pattern here. Now, what if when you bring some furniture in here, and that's what we're going to do right now, that may not be the right scale. So if I even wanted to make these smaller or change the color or anything, I don't need to go back in and recreate. I can select the patch I want to duplicate and work with and then drag it over to the new item icon in the swatch panel and it will duplicate that swatch. And I can double click on it and go into the pattern options and you'll see that it takes us into kind of an isolation mode where we can work on it and change the scale. So I'm going to zoom in, change the scale. If I want to change the color in here, I can. Now when I was talking about hue and saturation and lightness, if you grab the fill and we hold the shift key down, you can just change the uh, lightness or darkness by adding black or bring up the yellow, make it a little lighter, almost more of a rose. And if you feel like, well, I like that, but I prefer a little more magenta, you can do that. Anything that you like in here. And we can change it to hex by row, hex by column. And I want to change the width to being 0.5 and hit tab. That's actually very close. Let me hit 0.7 and tab, and the height, I'm going to make two. So we've got a little bit of overlap, but let's see how that looks. And then I'm going to change the name to little green squares, three, hit done, and it updated that last square because that was the square we had selected. So it's kind of funky. I think there needs to be a color in the background instead of the white because the white looks kind of shocking. So I'm going to go in, select that in my swatches, double click on it, and let's see if I can just, whoa, not do that. <laughs> that is not friendly. I'm going to just fill it for now, arrange, send it back. I don't think that's going to work. Ah, actually I'm making it super hard. Hit cancel. Let's make it less hard. Grab a rectangle. Fill it with whatever color you would like the back to be. So if it was something like this yellow, if you hold down the shift and click in the fill, you can make this a whole lot less yellow. Keep the yellow. And you can hit object, select it, object, arrange, send to back, and then it has has color to it because just white would not look great on a wall. And you can adjust that at any time because that's not actually part of the pattern. That's just your background color. So that looks a little funky. I may want it to be more neutral. All right. So let's bring furniture in. So now we've got three different um, swatches that we're working with. And what you're going to do, you're going to probably make between five to ten different versions. And you can see how easily you can make these different versions. And it's totally fine if you want to grab one that's out there and work with that as a bit of a template and trace uh, using the pen tool. All right. So this is one. Let's see, wallpaper designs. That's one example. You can also just go to images, but you're going to get um, some kind of cheesy uh, desktop wallpaper stuff. So you may want to go to the living room. The other kind, and this is the repeatable kind. I super love that. That's wonderful. The other kind of wallpaper that you'll see sometimes are images like this that do not repeat, that are more photographic in nature. If you want to work in that way, we can talk about that too. Whoa. Please. There we go. So here are some different kinds of wallpaper. There is repetition, and you can see the repetition here and here, but then in addition there are also these design elements that frame it and are repeated. So if you are like, this is the one, this is the one for me, then just you can do a screenshot, save it, shift command 4, gives you a screenshot, 
And then you can save that to your desktop, bring it in here. I also have a folder of vector images that I will put on the server. So when you go to the server, it is now in here. I have a bunch of different designs and brushes that you can use to trace. Let me show you. I'll let that copy and then we'll come back to that. All right, so we need to get some furniture so we can get a sense of scale. Now, the only place I shop for furniture is Ikea. It's all made out of cardboard. Oh, yeah. I love cardboard. I feel good about it. No, I don't. Don't get wet. Yeah. I, I, it's also cheap, okay? Where can you get a smoked salmon salad for $6? Should you? I don't know if you should have a folks smoke salad sandwich for six dollars. All right, let's. Well, also the way they shoot it makes it really easy to do this example. All right, so let's go in and get a sofa bed. Oh, delightful! This one here, the Mata Meta Mojita. Not sure. Right click on it and save image as. You want to make sure it's saving as a JPEG, which it is and then save that to your desktop. Save. I might save that to my home top. Okay. Now, I'm going to grab this pattern and I want to lock it. Object Lock Selection. So now if I want to move this, it's not going to move, but it's going to allow me to work on top of it. File, Place, go to the desktop, the mo Mojita. I did not link it so that it will remain in this file. You know that it's not linked because if it was linked, embed would be more prominent like this instead of being grayed out. All right. So it is actually embedded in the file. If you accidentally link it, you can go over here and hit embed and that will save the file, that image with this file. All right. If you link it and then lose the file, it will ask for it. So this doesn't look great. What we're gonna do is use live trace, which is now called image trace. Right up at the top of the option bar, this little pull down, and I'm going to go with low fidelity photo. And what it does is tra uh, changes this pixel information into vector information. <coughs> now, the back white background, I don't want to see that. I want to see the way that this looks against my, uh, my wallpaper. Hit expand, and then you can see all your anchor points right, and lines click off of it, get the direct select tool, click on the white, and hit delete. Then you can bring it down. You can put a rug in there, you know, whatever you think looks good. You can change the size of it. This would be a gigantically tall living room if that's how small your couch was. So I. Maybe you have a gigantically small living room. You put TV in here. I don't care. I want to say the way, see the way the furniture works with this scale of what you're doing. Okay. Does that make sense? So let me do that one more time. What do we want to get? A TV. Oh, God. These things are gigantic. Can we get a little one? I'm, I don't think I've got it in me to get, like, a gigantic black one. Oh, that's the worst color. All right, let's do it. Save as. Okay, that's not working. I want to save the image. Save image as. You want to make sure you've got a JPEG on there. If you do not have a JPEG at the end, you're just saving the HTML, which is a pointer to that image, but does not help when you go to place. File place. Make sure link is not selected. I will show you what happens if it is selected by accident place, it will say I am linked. And if I shut this file down and do not save that in a folder, all the furniture in a folder, when I open it up again, it will not show. So I'm going to hit embed and now I'm ready to go. Image trace, low fidelity photo. Wow, that's pretty low fidelity. Let's see if we can do high fidelity. Works better. Expand and then you can see all of your anchor points and paths select the direct select tool, click on just the white, and hit delete. And let's move 
that around. If I want to object, transform, reflect, I can flip it. Okay. So you're kind of building a floor. If, you're, if it works better for you to build a floor, you can definitely build a floor just by putting a rectangle in and sending it backward. So this is what we're going to see are, I would say, 5 to 10 of these. You can bring in whatever you want. So we're going to have experience with live trace, with placing a file, with uh, making artboards, and with making a bunch of patterns. Sound good? Okay.